one. Hi, MMA this week, Dan the Wolfman. I'm here with the one and only Jose Caseco. Hey, Jose, how's it going? Good, how you doing? All right, you were one of my favorite baseball players growing up. I have tons of cards stashed away somewhere, but what the fans really want to know is about your boxing, about your MMA experiences. What did you think about jumping in there? Now, you came from a long karate background. I, I found some footage of you with some nice sidekicks. Uh, you were nailing somebody. I think Kempo, is that where your background was? Yeah, you did it, Hungman Choi. And I've seen some sparring footage of you doing it too. Yeah, I fought Hungman Choi in Japan in the dream competition. And uh, I mean, the man's 7 2 3 6. I went in with the bat and he did the best I could. He's just too young, too big, and I was just overmatched, you know. But, uh, you know, I had a great time, a huge experience. I've done some celebrity boxing, I have some fun with that. Right. And I do spar now and then and do a little bit of training with kickboxing and boxing. Okay. Did you have a, a kickboxing background or Kempo karate background or something like that? Karate or it was karate. karate. Style. I'm more of a kickboxer than a jiu-jitsu. I know nothing about ground fighting, but I'm a pretty decent uh, kickboxer. So if I could set it up like you and Benny the Jet, could we get that yeah, together he maybe? Me. He probably hit me 15 times if I hit him. Okay. Maybe we, slow, and old. <laughs> maybe we could set something up. Let's see. Dream Super Hulk. How about the Super Hulk winner? Manoa Man. He fights in red panties. He's only 185 pounds. Right. Maybe like you and Manoa Man someday could be big because they need he's an opponent. Well, that just goes to show you how powerful Jiu Jitsu is. Is that he would get these big guys on the, on the ground and get them in an ankle lock or an arm bar and he'd just finish them off. So, I mean, Jiu Jitsu is such a uh, yeah, powerful that technique. You just can't beat it. Cool. So, you do some more kickboxing. Maybe you'll do a little bit of Jiu Jitsu, a little bit of grappling. and No, no ground. No, no ground work. Like a tortoise, put me on my back. I can't get up. So more kickboxing. <laughs> so maybe Chuck Liddell wants a retirement boxing, two-minute smoker rounds or something. Okay, you do you something like that. Stand up, I'll stand up kickboxing. You'll stand up and do it. You're a banger. You're ready to go. Anything you want to say about your baseball career and and all that? Well, I was managing independent baseball this year with the Human Scorpion. We had a great time. We came in, I think, ten games in the 500. It was a learning experience. The first year, I actually managed and played at the same time. And of course, I tore my bicep in the beginning of the season, so I was out for, for a little bit. You see how short it is there. Yeah. Compared to that one, how long it is. So I tore it, so I'm, I'm trying to rehab that. Okay. Any websites or Facebook or anything you want to plug? No, I'm just plugging yours. Okay. All right, guys on the underground, guys on YouTube, I'm Dan the Wolfman. Jose Canseco here, MMAforSelfDefense.com. Subscribe to my YouTube page, uh, Dan the Wolfman 1. All right, thanks. Take care. Cool.